What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new informed play review from this week's team of the week and today we're going to be looking at Lorenzo Insigne, his second inform. If you do enjoy today's video be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you are new around here and also let me know in the comments if you've used this card or not and also if you bought any packs on Black Friday and what your best pack pool was. But um, looking at his basic information he's an absolute midget standing at 5 foot 4, he's got 3 star skill moves and I actually thought he had 4 star. But uh, apparently not only 3 star, he's got 3 star skill moves as well. He's also got medium medium work rates and on Xbox and Playstation his price spans are between 10k and 150k. And lads now, we're just about to get into some in-game stats and some of these are absolutely crazy. Particularly when you bear in mind that right now you can get this card for about 40 to 50k. Base card stats wise, he's got 91 pace which is outstanding, 90 dribbling, 78 shooting, 84 passing which is also really nice. 50 physical which is sort of to be expected because he's so small and also 40 defending. He's an 83 overall, this is also worth mentioning. He's a left winger, his base card is a cam but his first inform that he had was also on the left wing. But look at some of those in now stats lads. He has got 98 agility and I can tell you now he is definitely the most weedy player I've used this year. He's also got 96 balance. 95 acceleration, 90 ball control and 89 curve. He's also blessed with the finesse shot, flair dribbler and speed dribbler traits and specialities. And if you look in the team I used him in, again it's that Inaki Williams team that you know I like. But instead of having Connor play anchor on the left, we've got the inform Insigne linking up with his uh, country mate and league mate. If that's even a thing, league mate, Parolo from Lazio. And you can see I only actually played three games with him, but he did go ahead and get five goals and two assists. Two of the goals were penalties, but the reason I only played three games, because of course I usually play five, is literally, lads, I just have not had the time. And I felt from the three games as well, I've gained everything that I needed to know about the card. And as we get to start to get, sorry, into some of the clips, we will talk about the card now in a bit more depth. And honestly, lads, he's probably the weaviest player I have used this year because he's so quick off the mark. He's just so agile. For, well, you got 90 agility, you're obviously going to be agile, but it's just incredible. The fact that he's weak doesn't seem to be too much of a negative, purely because his balance, his agility, all that stuff is so good. He's just able to weave through. You've seen a few examples of it there. Another fantastic side to his game is his passing, and that is what I think I enjoyed the card the most for, because his finishing is a bit of a letdown. It's not the greatest. However, it is just so easy if you're adept at the left trigger, right tr trigger dribbling, and the no-touch dribbling to get down the line, cut inside, and then just pass it back to someone in the middle to knock it in, because he can beat his man every single time off the dribble because he's just so agile like I've already mentioned and although he's not got the most amazing sprint speed he's usually got enough in his acceleration to get away for those first few yards that's a really nice finish by the way by uh, the striker we got on there before I think it is took it well on the volley but uh, yeah his first few yards are so good that he can usually just pull away from people and he's gone by that point and look at that for a dribble from the corner I don't know what this, this guy's goalkeeper's doing but from the corner, he dribbles around everyone, including the goalkeeper, and then just finesses it in. But overall, we are going to be giving this card an 8.6 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. The positives, his agility is incredible. His speed off the mark is also amazing. His passing and assist ratios, well, if, is that even a thing? Passing to assist ratios. Basically, his passing is awesome, particularly when you're cutting in and just knocking it back like you've seen here. Negative-wise, his finishing isn't the best. He is a little bit weak, and obviously he's not going to be winning you any headers at five foot four. I also wish he had four star skill moves because that would make this card just absolutely incredible. Unfortunately he has only got the three and that the majority of the time is enough to get the job done. You can see he scores a really nice free kick for us there as well. He has got half decent free kick stats but um, that is pretty much going to bring us to the end of this player review lads. Like I said before if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you don't here and I would love to hear from you all in the comments down below. Hey you all have a good weekend lads. I will speak to you on Monday's video. Nidge out.